my hair is looking a mess. I need to go ahead and do something. <laughs> hey guys, it is Klishan. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to go ahead and bring back the beloved 10 by 10 challenge. Seems that you guys are really into it, so I wanted to go ahead and just start again. But I wanted to do something a little bit different, something that I have not done in the past. Before, I talked about how good the 10 by 10 is for traveling. So I wanted to show you a 10 by 10 that was made just for traveling. So just keep watching and I'll show you those 10 items. So I actually just came back from Spain. I was going to film this while in Spain, but I decided that I needed to just completely have a vacation and not do any work. So I did not film, I decided to film when I got back. So here I am sitting in my bedroom. So I took these 10 items with me to Spain. The thing is I was in Spain for only five days, so I didn't really need to have a full 10 by 10, but you know, you tend to do more than one thing in one day. So I knew that having a 10 by 10 would be great for this five day trip because maybe in the daytime I'm doing something more casual but at night I'm going out so I wanted to have a very versatile wardrobe that could take me from day to night very easily so the easiest thing is to just start with what I'm wearing I am wearing one of my 10 items it is a black short sleeve dress that I picked up from forever 21 last summer I have gotten my money's worth I have worn the crap out of this dress I've believe I paid about 20 bucks for it no more than that and I really like it it's uh I don't know it's really well made for being for something from uh, Forever 21 it's a little bit short but you know that's eh, okay it's, it works for summer it shows off these big old legs I have gotten over the last year <laughs> but uh yeah I, I really love this dress and I knew that the good thing with this dress is that I could wear it as both a dress and as a top so you know me I love to layer things and that's the whole point of the 10 by 10 is to kind of mix and match the things that you already have and layer them and give some new life to something that you only saw in one way so the second item i'm going to show you is a really lovely dress i picked this up from h&m sometime at the end of last year and this was the first time i actually got to wear it finally it's a really beautiful denim dress and it has a button front and a tie waist and i tried on this dress and i loved it to me it's like very fashion you know very like fashionable dress but it still has classic style and it has nice little poofy sleeves and i knew that also with this item since it was long i could use it as a coat just in case it got a little nippy at night but also that it's really sexy as a dress though it's very classy as well so i love an item where you get maximum versatility. You know, you, it could be a jacket, it could be a dress, it could be sexy, it could be classy. It's the ultimate piece to have in your wardrobe, something that like just one item that you can get loads of wear out of. The third item is this shirt that I also picked up from Forever 21. I didn't have any summer clothes last year when I went to New Orleans and obviously it was very hot, so I had no choice but to uh, buy some things. And I needed to buy a lot with only a certain amount of money. So I had no choice but to basically go to Forever 21 and I went to a few outlets as well. So I picked up a few things from Forever 21 and I tried to get items from that store that were well made, really good quality and really good fabrication. So with this shirt, it's 100% linen and it's off the shoulder and it has these really, really nice like faux tortoise buttons so kind of like a corset top in a way it um nips in it's like really form fitting and i just thought it was the chicest shirt and it was probably also around 20 bucks i think if you're gonna shop from these fashion why can't i speak today <laughs> if you're gonna shop from these fast fashion places try to get the items that have the best fabrication something that just you're really going to get a lot of wear out of because it'll help take the guilt out of shopping from these stores again i'll probably start talking about fast fashion and shopping and all these different things another time i'm still trying to figure out my whole point of view on the matter but all i know is i try not to shop so much so often from these stores but you know these days i gotta do what i can so i do the best i can with what i got the next item is a t-shirt that i got from weekday it is just a half shoulder yellow top I got this on sale for like five euro I thought it was the cutest little thing but I love this uh, color on my skin tones but I just knew it would be versatile and that I needed it in my summer wardrobe and I really liked the price and it is of course really well made if you haven't shopped from weekday I definitely recommend it I am not sure if they ship to the states yet I really need to check that out if they do I'll make sure to put a link in the description box below so yeah just this very simple t-shirt that I knew that I could dress up or dress down. The next item is a nude tank. 
that I got from H&M again sometime last year. This is a really nice, well-made tank. I have worn the crap out of this shirt. I wear this shirt all, anytime I have to go somewhere, I'm more than likely gonna put this out as an option. It's just so form-fitting and super stretchy. It's just really nice and it has served me well. I have washed it so much. I mean, I just can't believe the quality. You can sometimes get really amazing quality from these fast fashion shops. You can get some luxury items in H&M, let me tell you. All right, I have two more items for my fashion bit. So two pairs of pants. These are from H&M. I guess living in Sweden, I shop a lot at H&M. The H&Ms here, they're really like, um, they sell more than clothes, which is nice. So if you want like beauty supplies, hair care, things like that, you literally go to H&M, whereas we would just go to Target or wherever in the States. You actually do that in H&M here, which I find very interesting. And of course there are like department stores, but they don't really have the same kind of stores. So you do end up spending a lot of time at H&M and shopping there because they pretty much have everything. So anywho, I got these pants for a special occasion. No, not a special occasion, but last year when I was going to Thailand for work, I needed some like really comfy pants to wear on the plane and I didn't want to wear sweatpants because it was a work trip and like the CEO was on the plane with me. So I was like, okay, I have to look presentable, but I need to be comfortable. So I was able to find these pants on sale at H&M. I probably paid about 10 euro for them. They're really nice, um, super silky. And I don't know, I just thought the print was really fun. Again, it's a little bit different from something I would usually wear, but they were perfect for the occasion. And I did wear them a little bit outside of that trip, but I knew that again, going to Spain, that I was gonna go ahead and pull these pants out because these are my traveling pants. But I knew I could also wear them during the trip itself so that's why I chose these pants so this is the last item you have seen this a few times before see this is the thing when you have a lovely wardrobe that you've worked hard to create you're gonna wear the same things a lot but I'm of course wearing these in a way that you have not seen before uh, these are my trusty khakis I love these pants so much I ordered them from Amazon they are workwear pants I think I pay like eight nine let's say less than 15 bucks for these pins i love the fit i love that they're high rise so i can wear a crop top with them i can wear a button down i can wear a denim jacket i can wear a blazer i really love these pants they're just so nice so i'll also link these in the description box because i feel like you should just own these so yeah i knew that i was going to take these also with me to spain all right now we're gonna move on to shoes the first pair of shoes i'm going to show you are my nike cortez i love these shoes i wore these a lot last year surprisingly they're not that dirty from me wearing them so much last year but i love this vintage colorway and i thought it would actually pair really well with black so this is why i got them and i was able to wear them so many different ways last year i knew i needed a tennis shoe because i didn't want to have my toes out the whole entire time so i chose these because i felt like these just were fun and would be very versatile. So the next item, black sandals. I knew, of course, you're going to Spain, you're going to need sandals. I actually took a pair of sandals with me, a pair that I got from Forever 21 in the last year's haul. And I literally fell on the ground on all fours, very embarrassing, uh, because they had no grip on the bottom. And then they started to talk a little bit. I realized that the sole was separating from the sandal. So this happened on the first day. And I knew like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and throw these away. I literally got my money's worth. They were about 14 bucks. They were really really cute I definitely have them on my Instagram uh, but I knew it was time to retire them uh, so I went ahead and bought a new pair of black sandals when I was there and it was great I found these lace-up sandals because I've actually been meaning to replace the ones that I had previously owned I owned some that were nude and I love them I got them from Madewell they were so great I wore them all the time but again they were just done I wore them to death and so I found these these were about 25 euro uh, these are all leather they're really nice really sturdy really well made made in Spain and you can get like I said you can find really good quality in some of these fast fashion stores do not sleep on them you just really have to look and dig deep so I was very happy to find these shoes and I was very happy to replace two pairs of shoes in one my black sandals that I had brought with me to Spain as well as the lace-up sandals the gladiator sandals that I've been meaning to replace for like two years now so the last pair of shoes are a pair of shoes I knew I would need something dressy but I wanted them to be walkable because I'm more than likely we were going to be walking everywhere so I brought out these gold sandals I wore these actually to Spain last year <laughs> I wore them to my friend's wedding and so I knew that I was going to bring these because these are pretty much my only walking heels that I own and since they 
were gold, I knew they would pretty much go with any and everything. So I chose these bad boys. These are from H&M. I think I paid maybe 40 euro for these. They're, I mean, they're so freaking comfortable and they have a nice sole inside. And again, a big chunky heel. So it's so easy to walk in these shoes. Those are my three pairs of shoes and my seven clothing items. Of course, with the 10 by 10, you mix in as many accessories um, as you want. They do not count towards the 10 by 10. So in the next video, I will show you exactly how I styled these items. I'm going to be showing you 10 different outfits for 10 different days or in my case two outfits per day all right guys so i will see you in the next video where i'm styling these items i cannot wait to see you until then bye